Here's how a student will move through Moodle's workshop activity. Here's an example of a workshop activity that an instructor has set up. Here are instructions for the type of submission that a student needs to make. When you're ready to submit your draft paper, click on the link to the activity. You'll see, you should see that it's in the submissions phase with some final instructions. And when you scroll down, you should see a link to add your submission. I'm going to click on that. I need to give my submission a title. And drag the file from your desktop into the drag and drop area. Scroll down a bit and save changes. Now you can see that your file has been submitted. After your instructor has moved the workshop activity into the assessment phase, you should go back into the activity. You'll see again that your submission has been made but you'll also see a number of students' submissions that you are assigned to assess. In this case, the instructor has set that number to two. So this student has two assessments to make of their peers' submissions. So I'm going to click on the link to the submission of this first student. And I can see that that's a Word document. I'm going to click on that to download it. After I've read that submission and thought about it, I'm going to go over and click on the Assess button. And there are instructions for assessing. In this case, the instructor has determined four aspects of the submission for you to assess. And there are instructions for each one of those aspects. So. You'll consider those instructions for aspect one and enter your thoughts. The same for aspect two, three, however many aspects have been created for this. If you are done working for now, you can save and close. If you want to continue on to the next student's submission to assess, you can click on save and show next. So here's the submission for the second student that needs to be assessed. I'll click on the link to the file. It's downloaded. After I've read it again I'll consider these four aspects. Enter my thoughts on those. Save and close. Some instructors may also ask you to assign a grade to the submissions. You would have had an opportunity to do that if that were the case. Uh, in this case, only comments were requested. So you can see here that it says for each of these students assigned assessments already graded. Technically, they were not assigned grades, but they were commented on. And that's what Moodle means when it says already graded. If you want to make a change, you can click on Reassess and make changes. After your instructor has moved to the final phase of the workshop activity, if you click on the link to the activity, you'll see that it's at the final phase, which is that the activity has been closed. Only after the activity has been closed will you be able to see the feedback that you got from your peers. Um, so the first thing that you'll see is grades. If your peers assigned grades to you, those will be represented here. If you, your peers were not asked to assign grades to you, then these numbers will simply represent whether you've done the required activities. So in this case, this student has made their assessments, and so they got full credit for having done that but they have not been graded on their submission because that was not required in this case. Below that, 
uh, you'll see your own submission. If you click on the link to the title of your submission, you'll be able to see the comments that your assessors have given you. So there are two different students who assessed this work. And first we'll see the input from one of those students, aspect one, two, three, four. And then we'll see the input from the second assessor, their aspect one, two, three, and four comments. If there will be some sort of a final grade for this project that's assigned to you by your instructor, that will be done separately.